Frank DeWitt, you're a world bronze medalist. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels good, man. It feels really good to, uh, to have my uh, medal at the World Championships now. Um, you had a, a fantastic day. Uh, the fight that you lost was incredibly, like, it was an incredibly dynamic fight. But after you lost that fight, what, what did you say to yourself to pick yourself up to go and, go and win the bronze medal? Yeah, for me, it was not too difficult to pick myself up because uh, I, ju I just got thrown, yeah. I tried to do my best and I got thrown. And uh, I didn't uh, have any world medals yet, any title tournaments uh, medals actually yet. So I was really happy to uh, to win this medal. Yeah, you've got a, you've got a lot of medals in your uh, in your career, but this is the obviously the the career highlight so far. Um, yeah, another world championships. You've you've actually struggled against the Dominican Republic actually a couple of times, and you fought him today, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that fight and the mentality of going into to that fight. Uh, to be honest, it was pretty difficult because, uh, like I said, uh, and like you said, it, I lost the last two world championships in the first round against him. And now I think I was the only uh, guy ever who was uh, hoping over for the Olympic champion to fight instead of the <laughs> Dominican guy. So for me, uh, it was uh, mentally a difficult fight, but uh, I felt good and I felt uh, physically I would, uh, if I would uh, make it a long match, I could uh, bring it home. Uh, this is a great result for the Dutch team. Uh, tell us about, I mean, we saw you afterwards, you had a big embrace with Mike and with, with all of the team, in fact. Uh, talk, tell us through, talk us through the, the camaraderie of the Dutch team and what this means to, to, to Dutch judo. Yeah, I think for Dutch judo, of course, it, it means always something. If we get a world medal, we have a small country. But for me, uh, with Michael and with my coach, it's, uh, it's special. You know, you know it, and uh, we talked about it before. Yeah, we have a special bond, and uh, I think this will uh, yeah, make it even stronger. So you've got a world bronze medal. Uh, tell us about your plans now, what your hopes are for the future and what you're going to do to kind of repeat this result or do one better at the Olympics. Um, actually, this gives me a lot of confidence that I finally have my title tournament uh, result. So for me, uh, I'm going uh, yeah, really relaxed, calm to the Olympics. And I uh, think I showed this year, I have to, three tournaments, three medals. I have only one medal missing. I have two bronze, one silver. So let's hope for uh, for the big one there. Um, as part of your prize, you received uh, from the sponsor Huawei, you received a smartwatch. I'm not sure if you've had a chance to look at it yet. I haven't looked at it yet, actually. But tell us what you think about the fact that you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're the proud owner of a Huawei. <laughs> Huawei oh, watch. that's really nice, man. <laughs> no, I, I haven't looked at it yet, actually. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice watch, what I can see. So uh, I will use it. Congratulations, Frank. Thank you. Thank you so much.